Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Pagabra Backpacking, and today I just, I woke up at one of the most amazing hammock spots uh, I've ever been to, and I was in the Lake District of England. Then, leaving there, I got in the car and I drove two and a half, three hours up to Scotland, and I'm in Galloway Forest Park. This is one of the dark sky parks. So this is a place that people come for astronomy and to do astrophotography, and so it's gonna be really dark. There's no light pollution up here. The drive up here was, was stunning. Uh, I went through really three different zones. So first was like a rolling rocky pastures area with, with sheep everywhere and the rocky walls. And then I got along the coast and the coast was kind of craggy with some cliffs. And then we got right down along the water and it was, it was beautiful. Then we got into more mountainous area as we came into the park here and it's just, it's incredible. I've got big hills all the way around me here. I'm going to be heading up. Look, it is currently just about two o'clock. The sun is pretty low. I don't know how much sunlight we're actually going to have. I want to get to uh, Valley Lock or Lock Valley. Uh, right here, I'm at Lock Trool. I'll be going, I, I should be able to get a good view of that in a little bit. So I'm going to go along Lock Trool, hit uh, a river, go up the river, over the ridge, and into Valley Lock, or Lock Valley. I, one of the two. I believe it's Lock Valley. And so once I'm up there, I believe looking at Google Earth and doing some image searches that there are two trees up there and they look to be spaced about the right distance apart. I don't think there's any other trees around that entire lake or lock. So it's a gamble. We may be coming back down in the dark by headlamp. Uh, definitely trees down here around this lock. So, hey, it's an adventure. It's always an adventure. And I'm in a tremendously beautiful country. So we're just gonna roll with it. The sun is out. I'm in such a good mood, a better mood than I was yesterday. Uh, the, the weather's just, the weather does that. The sun can make you smile. So let's go, let's do this. Absolutely stunning landscape out here. Or does it feel totally different too? Across the lock over there, I believe that is the lodge that you could stay at if you came over here. There are a couple other little touristy type areas like Bruce's Stone on the other side. This area right over my shoulder over here could be, could be an area that I come back to if I can't find something up here um, to, to be at. Check that out. So what I believe I'm doing is going up to the end up here. Then you can see a stream coming down there. I'm not sure if it's that one or if it's a little bit further over, but there's a stream, a creek, a river that I'll be following up. I believe it is the one right in front of us that goes between those two mountain areas. You really cannot beat this scenery. So. The water that's coming down over there, I can actually hear it roaring. So gonna be some pretty cool rapids. You can see where the, the mountains that I'm on are, uh, the shadows are already on the ones I was just showing. It's 2.30, <laughs> the sun is that low. It's pretty chilly. Um, a lot of these areas 
on this hillside I'm on right now, there's frost still on stuff. Didn't go away all day unless it was in like direct sunlight. So it's chilly. It's probably uh, right around freezing right now, which means up here, it's gonna get probably pretty cold tonight, but that's okay. I'll be warm, I'll be in my hammock. And I actually got better sleep last night than I have in quite a while. Check this out, just water running out of the ground right here. That's how wet the ground is all around, is it just runs out boggy. That reflection in the lock is just incredible. Wow. Unreal. So I love the fact that I'm out here. I was able to pack for my trip and include enough of my backpacking stuff to be able to do something like this. So I've got the Zimmer built quick step on and I'm able to fit enough stuff for two nights. I've got food, I've got water, I've got everything I need. Zero degree quilts, hammock setup, good coverage tarp. It's not a heavy load. It's not overbearing on me. And it fits into that little backpack on my back. And I get to come out and enjoy this. I mean, yeah, totally worth it. By the way, it's New Year's Eve. So I'll be waking up tomorrow to a new year. I never get sick of these walls. Now, the ones here in Scotland so far are distinctly different than the ones in the English countryside in that these are bigger boulders. And I don't know if you can see, but up there on that hill, they go way up over these hills, along, just all over the place. Serious, serious manpower to do this. Okay, so a little bit of an update for you. I am right along the uh, that river that I was needing to follow up. It's not gonna happen. It is wet. Like I was, I was up to my shins in water in some spots. This stuff, you get in between some of these these mossy rocks over here. Further up though, um, and it is just boggy, boggy, nasty. So oh, that's cool. I like that little spot right there. I don't know if that was something at some point, but nice. So I'm gonna start doubling back and try and hit a couple of spots that I saw that looked good. I might even try and get all the way back to that one that I pointed out. One of the things I brought with me was a mint cake. I've never seen these before. These Kendall mint cakes are everywhere and uh, all the outdoor stores carry them. So I picked this one up. I'm gonna give it a try right now as I'm walking, because I'm getting kind of hungry. I may actually stop somewhere, make up something to eat, and then continue my walk, but we'll see. So it is like a York, like a big York, but it's, it's hard, kind of good. So I have to tell you guys about this. I just met this awesome older lady. Uh, she and her husband bought this this old farmhouse thing um, and they're renovating it into a bunkhouse for guests to come up here. She wanted to make sure that I told all my US friends about Galloway Forest and, and how incredible it is. She said everyone everyone comes to Scotland and they go up to the north like the Cairngorms and traffic is horrendous, especially in summer. It's just bumper to bumper, can't get anywhere. She said, come here, it's beautiful. And it is, it is absolutely incredible what I've seen so far. 
so there's this bench right here and uh, I decided I'm hungry. I'm gonna stop right here at this bench, enjoy this view and just kind of uh, enjoy it while I make up something to eat. All right, so here's what I'm eating for tonight. This is Summit to Eat. This is macaroni and cheese. I saw somebody do a review on this. It sounded really good. So I picked some up. This is another UK product. Wow, it is very cheesy in there. So this is dehydrated product or freeze dried. Um, it's got elbow macaroni in there. 175 milliliters of water water. I've got about 200 in here, so it's probably gonna be a little bit runny Quite frankly, I don't care It'll be warm and it'll be yummy I'm gonna put my down jacket on because I'm getting a little bit of a chill right here while this is coming to a boil So actually with this meal this one has the fill to a line it says 175 or fill it to the D line What's nice about this one? as opposed to the other one that I tried, is the lines are on the inside, so you can actually fill it to that line. Whereas the other one had the markings on the outside, but you couldn't actually get to the, you couldn't see the lines, you had to kind of guess. This one, they're inside. Well done, Summit to Eat. All right, so it is done, ready to eat, and it looks like mac and cheese. It's a little bit more white and kind of stringy than like a, uh, than a Kraft or Velveeta type. Mm, that's really good. Wow. I would I would definitely get this again. I may have to pick some up just to take back with me. Mm. That's good. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. Enjoy this view. Camp probably another mile, mile and a half down around. There's a peninsula, had some nice trees. I pointed out earlier, that's where I think I'm headed. Beautiful spot, nice spot to enjoy a dinner. Okay, so I am set up at camp right now and I'm in a nice spot. Like the site itself isn't all that good, the ground is pretty mushy and pretty damp so I've actually got my I don't even know if you can see it but my bag is hanging from my my suspension um, I don't know if I have a flat spot to even find a spot to cook and do coffee in the morning but I will find a spot I will kick a hole I will make a level spot if I have to um, <laughs> trying to get back here I stepped in another boggy area and was foot was completely submerged again but so it is New Year's Eve. I've got, I know I'm in Scotland, but I've got an English cider here. I'm gonna try, gonna enjoy. And uh, unfortunately, clouds have been rolling in. I can still see the moon. It's just a sliver of a moon up there, uh, but I don't see any stars yet. And I definitely saw clouds rolling in right before it got darker. Um, it's only like five o'clock, but I am set up. I don't have the tarp deployed right now. I probably will just in case and to try and let it dry. It is, it is pretty wet. So I'll probably get that staked out here in a little bit, but I think I'm going to pop open this cider and enjoy that. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like it. hundred percent British apples. Yep. So I've been laying here. <laughs> Technology is amazing i was able to it's it's new year's eve and i was able to facetime my wife and my kids talk with them and just <laughs> i'm out in the middle of the woods i have enough of a signal to do that that's incredible but i was sitting there and i'm like man it's after eight o'clock i haven't had dinner like around four o'clock i had that that summit to eat mac and cheese, which by the way was extremely good. Very, very good. Um, I, I seriously am thinking I'm going to have to go get some more of those to take back with me just to have them. Um, 
But before coming out here, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to stop and get meals. I was able to, but I wasn't sure I was going to. And so I grabbed, I went by, um, <laughs> I got a mountain house meal. And I've got that with me. And that's what I was going to eat for dinner. It's a chili mac and beef one, which isn't horrible. I just don't know if I can get myself for my last meal of uh, 2019. I'm not sure I can do that. So I just had some some jerky and some nuts sitting here. I don't know. I'm still contemplating it. I wasn't feeling very hungry. Now that I've started eating something, had a little bit to drink, I'm kind of feeling a little more hungry. <sighs> we'll see. Okay, well, I'm committed. I'm going to go ahead and do it. That's what I'm going to do. Looks like we've got a boil. Okay, so the meal is... Uh, it still needs a little bit of rehydrating time. It took less water, and I could tell that as I was putting it in. It took less water. Let me turn this off. Uh, took less water than what it called for. And I could tell that as I was adding it, it was over the top of all the food already, and it still had like I don't know, a quarter to a half cup. So I was like, nah. And it still needs a little bit to rehydrate, but it's it's the perfect consistency. Unfortunately, it's not the perfect flavor. For those of you who actually enjoy Mountain House food, I, try something good. If you're in the U.S., try Outdoor Pantry, try Packet Gourmet. Mountain House is not good. Now I've got two and a half servings of this chili mac with beef that I've got to try and see if I can eat. It's bland. It tastes almost cardboardy. It's just not good. It's really just not good. There are so many good ones out there. Oh, the fact that I'm doing this. But I made it up. I'm either going to eat it or pack it out with me because that's kind of what you do. Happy New Year. Good morning, everybody. It is 2020. I had a decent night's sleep. Not a great night. Not from any fault of the weather, or the wind, anything just... I just didn't sleep all that well. Uh, that's okay. That happens. All right. Well, it's about time for some breakfast. Well, not breakfast. Just coffee, of course. So I'll show you around my uh, my site in a minute. But if you look out this side of my hammock, you've got the lock right there, which isn't a bad sight. So I've got coffee on, as you can see right here. I'll be doing another, another swift cup of coffee from the hammock, of course. So here's my, my sight. So kind of on this little knoll right here. And this stuff is, it's just kind of boggy, wet ground. Over there, uh, if you go up over this hill, there's a spot that was really where I wanted to be. Unfortunately, when I came down the hill, I could see somebody was already set up over there. Uh, not many people out, but of course somebody in the one spot I wanted to be in. And then on the other side of the hammock is the lock. Out that way and out behind me. Not a bad spot, not bad at all. So it definitely got below freezing last night. I had a little bit of ice in my my water. Um, this morning is not a very it's not a very nice morning. It's pretty pretty cold out there, um, and you know from yesterday my socks and shoes are still pretty wet. I'm sure my pant legs are still pretty wet, so I'm not looking forward to getting that stuff on. I uh, had to slide my shoes on to go go to the bathroom, and uh, 
that was cold. That was really cold. Uh, actually, I'm surprised that the shoes aren't frozen. I don't know. I haven't touched the socks. They might be. I'm really glad I got out here yesterday when it was sunny and beautiful because this morning it doesn't look it doesn't look nearly as as nice. That overcast layer, the uh, the low clouds, and the just I don't know. It feels cold. It looks cold. It's not not nearly as is beautiful. Um, oh, it's still beautiful, don't get me wrong. But I'm glad I got to see it yesterday. And hey, that was that was a good good way to spend New Year's Eve and spend the night here rather than out drinking and partying. So let's talk about yesterday. And the plan I had, I pointed out that that river um, from out here. I could hear it. I knew it was raging. I knew it was it was going pretty hard. I had read that there was a trail that went along it. I don't know where that trail starts. It could start if I was going. I'm going counterclockwise around this lock. It could have been further counterclockwise around, um, and I just didn't have the patience. To find it so I started there were two two little trails one on either side of that uh, I think it's called <sighs> Glenhead burn I believe was what it was called so there was a little trail on either side I went up one till it it pretty much dead-ended I lost it uh, I was standing in a bunch of muck so I turned around I went up the other side and I was able to file, follow a trail a little bit further, but then the trail definitely was starting to to fade out. I wasn't sure if it was a game trail I was on. I knew the general direction I needed to go. I needed to follow the the river up. Problem was the the ground itself became so boggy and so wet. I was like shin deep in nasty muddy water that you couldn't see until you stepped, and it was kind of uh. It was very slow going and it was already, the sun had already set. Not knowing that there was actually going to be a place to camp on the other side, knowing that I thought there were two trees, whether or not they were still there, whether or not they were dead, whether or not they were actually spaced the right distance. It was a gamble that as I started putting all the pieces together, it just didn't seem quite worth it. And I'd seen this spot over here. I knew there were good trees over here. I knew that there weren't a bunch of dead dead trees, although I can see a dead tree way over there. Um, and so it just made sense to to come back this way. And if I hadn't come back this way, I wouldn't have gotten the chance to talk with that, that older lady. And uh, yeah, just things work out. You know, would I have liked to have been up there? I don't know. This morning, it may be covered in, in clouds up there. It may be completely fogged in and, and not be all that nice. So, you know, maybe it's all for the better that I'm down here. I'll walk around down here and do a little bit of exploring this morning, see what, what kind of stuff there is. Um, maybe walk over and see what they call Bruce's Stone. And then, and then kind of head out, but... I'm okay with it. I really am okay with it. I came out here for adventure, to have some fun, to walk around and, and see things and do things and experience a little bit of Scotland, uh, something I'd wanted to do. The drive out here was incredible. I, I seriously, no regrets whatsoever. And getting up there to see Glenhead burn, uh, that water was incredible. It was so... You had the rocks with the moss, raging white water, some some old growth trees up there, and it was just spectacular. It was almost something out of a movie. Uh, yeah, I, enjoying it. Definitely enjoying my time out here in the UK. So I've hit hikes in England. I've now had had a chance to hike and backpack here in Scotland. Next up is going to have to be Wales. That's kind of on my to-do list. I've got a a little uh, check mark that needs to be put next to Wales as well. So uh, 
the the national park there is Snowdonia, and there's some, some pretty incredible stuff there from what I've seen. So I think that's going to be the the target. That's going to be where I'm aiming to go in Wales is Snowdonia. So we'll see. Should be able to get out there though. I think this is a bad spot at all. Well, I'm all packed up here at my site, so time to uh, head back out, hit the trail. Let's go. Not really much of a trail to get out of here, just kind of picking your way over and through everything. As you can see today, all the hilltops are all shrouded in clouds. It was pretty amazing last night how quickly the clouds rolled in. How it went from being completely clear skies to completely overcast. It was a matter of probably a half hour. It was, it was pretty much all while I was sitting there eating, making and eating the mac and cheese. I talked with the with the lady about Galloway Park and then went sat down there I walked I don't know half a mile or so to get there some pretty big blowdowns in here as well got there and uh, started making it and as I sat down little kind of wispy clouds started coming in and then within yeah I'd say a half hour completely overcast All right, guys. I am back at the car. Finished up this trip for uh, for this weekend here in Scotland, Galloway Forest Park. Amazing place. Views were amazing. You know, I got up this morning. It's overcast. You know, it's uh, it's about one one o'clock. A little after one right now, and the sun still hasn't come out. It doesn't look all that bright because the sun doesn't get very high. I mean, it's only up for about five to six hours each day, so it's not a huge amount of daylight that you get here. But, had a great time, really enjoyed being out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys ever find yourself in Scotland, check this place out, definitely worth it. I'd love to come out and be able to hit more of the trails, go and explore further out, have more time, maybe come here on vacation, maybe bring the family. I think that would be the way to do it. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. If you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave them down below. As always, if you haven't done so before, please hit that subscribe button. Right next to it, there'll be a little bell icon. If you hit that, you'll get notifications every time I upload a video. I will see you guys down the trail.